Okay, so, um, this is the first time I'm gonna do this, um, after a few months of having the Moldavite, which I actually got from Mark Bearsky, and I wanted to share this, actually, and, um, I was so amazed how the effects are so intense, um, and so fast, you know, if I can call my Moldavite experience, it was so fast. Um, in fact, some of the um, practitioners or even other people that I've talked to actually was surprised that I was working on a model bite when I'm just starting out with crystals. Most of them were saying, like, you should have started first with, you know, the basic crystals, like, you know, the starters for beginners. But then again, I, I said to myself, it, you know, it happened without me, you know, really knowing it. I mean, everything happened for a reason, so... Yeah, and I've read also a lot of articles um, where if you're not really ready yet, don't work with the Moldavite because it's really going to transform your life. So, yeah, I did. It actually turned my life upside down. But I would still say that, you know, it turned my life for the better, you know. Yeah, it will really try. It's like a tower moment in the tarot card because I love tarot as well. But um, it's like a tower moment. Like, it's going to shake you up basically, but at the end of the day, it's actually for your own healing and for your own good, so maybe that's the reason why when I read some of the articles saying that if you're not ready yet to work with a modal vibe because it's really going to be intense, like the acceleration is so fast, um, yeah, <laughs> but in my case, it happened naturally, so you might be wondering again, if you have check out my video um, about the unboxing of Mark Bayersky's modal vibe, um, what happened there was, because a lot of people um, I've talked to, like, they were telling me, wow, uh, you got a Moldavite from Mark Bayersky, because they, too, are also subscribed to Mark Bayersky's channel. And even, you know, some of them are actually um, crystal shop owners that I've purchased crystals from, because I, I, as much as I really wanted to get crystals from Mark Bayersky, it's quite too pricey for me at this time, so I really need to save up some money. So... In the meantime, I was visiting some, some crystal shops that were online shops that actually sell authentic um, crystals or genuine crystals. And when they found out that I was also, you know, subscribed to Mark Bayersky, and they were like, wow, I'm also subscribed to him. And, you know, it's really amazing, really, really amazing. And uh, sometimes it would tell me, like, you should have worked with, you know, this crystal first, blah, blah, blah. Um, but everything happened so naturally, actually, I, 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 again, I didn't even, you know, I didn't even, I mean, I'm not even, until now, I'm like so, so shocked, like so surprised. I never found myself being such connected or so drawn to crystals, honestly, even at the time when I was just starting out watching Mark Bayersky's videos, because the purpose as to why I was watching his videos was for self-help, okay, because I'm actually undergoing some challenges in my life, and his self-help videos really did help me a lot. In fact, the first ever video I watched from him was all about lemons. And I love making lemon water, so lemon cucumber water. So when I stumbled on that um, video of his, that's how it all started. And I said, you know, there's really no accident in life. Like, universe is really going to lead you to the right people. And um, at that time, I was also trying to check out some self-help videos. So just to give you a brief background before I actually share my motivated experience. So that's how it all started. And while watching Mark Bayersky's videos, um, I actually um, found out about the um, uh, the Moldavite. He was sharing his collection of crystals, and there you go. So I participated in one of his videos where you can actually also win um, some Moldavite um and I think I participated twice. That's the reason. Yeah, definitely. I partic participated twice in one of his, you know, um, contests. Like, just a random contest where you can win a motorbike from Mark Bayersky. And I got two of them. 
at first it didn't arrive. Like, you know, even my friends were like telling me, hey, where's your motorbike? I, I saw you're going to get a motorbike from Mark Bierski. And I said, nah, I didn't arrive yet. Maybe because it's coming from another country, it's going to take a while. But honestly, I wasn't really like to, you know, like, yes, I'm excited for it. But um, basically, it's what I wanted to say is that if, if you know, um, if I didn't get it at all, it doesn't matter. Like, it's not for me. I always believe on that. If there's something that you really want and you didn't get it, it's it just simply means it's not for you. So, I didn't put much thought on it. Like, of course, I was wishing that I would get it, but if it didn't arrive, then it didn't arrive. You know, I, I just think that way. And it took months, you know, until I forgot about it, I, until I forgot about the motorbike and, and, and um, uh, around October, just, you know, a few months ago, I was surprised because um, the, car uh, the the carrier was actually telling me that they were trying to um, deliver the package to me since May. Unfortunately, for some reason, I was I was always not around, and I told them it's because I'm asleep during the day. So it's really really amazing, right? And they even told me that um, if you know you weren't able to get the package at this very moment we're actually going to send it back to the sender. So, good thing I was able to get the Motivite, okay? So anyway, that's some brief history about how I got the Motivite, how I actually found out about the Motivite, because again, I'm just a beginner when it comes to learning about crystals or stones, okay? Now, let's head on to the Motivite experience. As for the Motivite experience, I, I got that around um, middle of October, and um, the first time I held it in my hand, together with the angel cards that Mark sent me, it was so powerful. At first, I was even so, like, I was crying so emotional because the handwriting of Mark Bierski is so similar to my late father's, who is also my spirit guide. And so I was really crying, you know. And you even, you know, see that on one of my videos that I posted when I first got the motivite. And... Um, I was really emotional that time, and then I, I um, after that, I think that that was, if not the day after I got the mold white, I, I guess, yeah, it was the day after I got the mold white. I tried to share it to one of my coworkers, who's also um, not really a, a clairvoyant yet, but definitely someone who has psychic powers, okay? Everybody's psychic, don't get me wrong, but someone who's already open, okay? Um, but still in the beginning stage, if you get what I'm, my drift, or if you get what I, what I mean. So I showed it to him, and because there are two motivites that I got from Mark Bierski, I shared the other one to him and let him hold it and see what, what is he going to feel, you know? So I tried to hold it on my left hand, and he did the very same thing. And you know what happened? Both of us were like, the first ever sensation that we both felt was, um, it was, um, on his case, it was hot, okay? She said, it feels so hot in my hand. And we did a research, like, real time, because he was amazed, like, why is it so hot? So we tried to Google it, and there it says that if, you know, if it becomes hot or something, that means that's one of the hot flushes that, you know, one of the things that you will experience when holding a motorbike. As for me, I, my hands got itchy for some reason. Like, there's a electric, like, itchy feeling on my left hand. That was the first sensation I got. It wasn't hot. Um, and then we went downstairs, so we went somewhere near the trees, okay? And so we went down and we tried to meditate or tried to feel um, the motivite. And um, I tell you, both of us felt the very same thing. It's, it's like we're on drugs, literally. I mean, I've never taken drugs, but it's like you are in another world. Like, it's so spacey, very spacey. Like, I don't know. I could. It's hard to explain, but it's like... You know, I'm drugged. You know, I, even 
even though I never took drugs in my entire life, but it's like you're drugged. Or probably I've, I've taken um, sleeping pills, you know, strong sleeping pills where you feel so drugged, like, you know, everything is like, <laughs> everything is so crazy. Like, you know, you can't think straight and it's like you're in a dreamland or something. My mind is just like drifting somewhere and you're just spacey. The best description I would share to you guys is that I'm I'm like all spaced out like really spacey and then suddenly we felt both of us felt there's a strong wind around us and that's weird like there's a strong wind we could feel the natural wind but there's like a you know specific wind like going around us as for the guy which I lent the mode white I got from Mark to uh, felt that there was like a strong wind on his um probably his crown chakra on his on the top of his head so <laughs> yeah that was weird as for me I could really feel this cold strong wind around me and I was feeling so spacey and all that like both of us were so quiet you know and after that after feeling so spacey we suddenly felt so freaking sleepy <laughs> okay so that's it. That was one of the first ever experiences I've got um, just by having this motivate from Mark Bayersky. The number two experience I got, which was, it was so intense. Like, it was so fast, you know. Um, and mind you, motivate is not the first crystal or a rather stone that I've, you know, um, I've had. Because the very first one, which I didn't know, and I've, I, I never met Mark Bearsky at that time yet. I purchased it years ago just because I know that it's a uh, meteorite and I'm interested in falling stars and meteors. And somebody sold me this um, this meteorite or tektite and I purchased it, okay? So that's the first ever, you know, thing I got. And not realizing that sooner or later I'll be involved into crystal stones and all that. Anyway... Um, that was the first ever I got, and then after that, I got a tourmaline from my psychic friend who actually suggested to me that I should get myself a tourmaline, a black tourmaline. So that's the first ever, and then citrine, you know, uh, but I've never felt this strong energy ever since I got that motivite from my prayer ski, or that motivite, really. So that was the first experience. The second time, I actually... And it's something so freaking weird. Like I was probably I traveled outside of my body. It felt something like that. Like I know I was awake. Like I was, you know, doing some things. Um, but I know I'm I'm also asleep during that time. It's hard to freaking explain. It's so weird. But I'm sure those who, you know, especially those who are clairvoyants doing astral thing or those, you know, um, people who are aware of it would understand what I'm talking about. And so I just woke up um, and I found out I have a huge bump on my head, like a huge bump. And literally there's a bump. Like it, my head hurts so bad. Like it really hurts so bad. And I said I wounded myself or something. I hit my head somewhere. I don't know. But uh, um, I tried to you know, to recapture how I got that bump, and I felt like I did it now out of body experience for some reason, and that was the very first time I had that experience. And then the next one, um, the next um, thing I found out was that I actually left some of my some of my like electric kettle, you know, still running, and that was really scary because I was like, oh my god, I didn't, you know, how did this happen, you know? So, yeah, those were the experiences um, that I had, the very first experiences. But the major experiences or the major experience I've had with this motivite that I, you know, I, I got um, was it turned it, it turned my life upside down. Suddenly, like, I'm begin, beginning to, to purge. Like, I'm trying to remove all the toxins in my life. Yeah, we detoxify a body, right? But it's like a, you detoxify your life, basically. So, for some reason, um, yes, I lost a lot of friends. Um, for some reason, I, you know, I was aware about some of the things that they're doing to me that is, it doesn't fit me. Like, 
I decided to create some boundaries, like, like there are some things that they've been doing that is not um, right for me. Um, and I was like thinking it never, that never happened before or that never happened in the past. But I suddenly began learning how to um, create some boundaries. That's one of the things I've noticed with, um, with this motorbike that I have. Anyway, let me pause. I just need to, you know, to sip some water. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. So, yeah. Um, I suddenly, you know, again, um, recognized or was able to identify some of the habits and some of the patterns that are actually not serving me anymore, even toxic relationships. So, yeah, it basically shook my world, you know, and then I started meeting people um, who are actually in a higher vibration, that's what I noticed. Ever since I got the motivite, it's like, um, first I purged. I, I, I actually, you know, I'm in the process of removing toxins, not only from my body, but from, you know, toxic people from my life. Okay. And it happened so naturally and so fast. It's so, it's really a stone of transformation. Honestly, when I, when I actually check YouTube out, and you see, you know, some YouTubers saying that it's a stone of transformation. I'll be the one, one of those people would say, yes, it is definitely a stone of transformation. So if you're not ready yet and you feel that, oh my God, this is so intense, then it's up to you. But as for me, I wasn't prepared for it, to be quite honest. That's the reason why a lot of practitioners or a lot of, you know, people that I've talked to, they were like, oh my God. So you're still beginning and yet you got that motivate and you know, maybe that's why because you know, you should be really prepared, you know, to work with the motivate because it's so intense. And I said, I didn't know. Okay. I have no idea really, but maybe it happened for a reason. Maybe, you know, I have no choice, but it already happened. But yeah, so um but all I can say is that you shouldn't be really totally like scared about it because it will never hurt you. It may appear as if like it's going to shake you up. You know, either you would feel dizzy, either you'll feel sleepy, or either you would feel this and that. Or again, just like in my case, for some reason, I lost friends. All of a sudden, friends that I've had for a long time. And for some reason, I, I lost them, you know? And um, I began to realize some of the things that they're doing that are an inappropriate and I, started creating boundaries for myself so again it's a stone of transformation it's going to heal you so it's not necessarily or definitely you know not necessarily a thing that you should be scared of or it's not a bad thing in fact it's a healing stone it will heal you so don't be scared now i understand why mark keeps on you know telling his viewers out there you shouldn't be scared you know yeah he shouldn't be actually because at the end of the day it's for your own good Okay, always look at the bright side of why it's, why this stone is doing this for you. Okay, so um, that's the experience that I've got um, working with the motivite, and um, I was again until now I'm so amazed with that little small piece. Actually, I've gotten two, but I gave the other motivite to my psychic friend, and. For some freaking reason, I lost my psychic friend. <laughs> she was one of those friends that I lost. But she actually, what happened there was, I'm sorry, I'm just being really, really brutally honest because this is, you know, something I, I just wanted. I'm, an, I'm a very transparent person, so I'm going to tell you bluntly, you know, I'm um, being a Scorpio, we don't want to sugarcoat things or we're just pretty much blunt if we feel the need to do that, okay? So anyway, yes, I lost my psychic friend. For some reason, I got into an argument. I created boundaries, things like that. But what happened was um, she found out that I got the motorbike from Mark, and I got two. And she actually told me, hey, can you please give me the other one because I already have two. At first, honestly, I don't want to because I, I, I wanted to keep it because I it's something that I really treasure. It's something that I got from Mark. But I said, yeah, might as well share your blessings or what, because these, you know, are very, you know, expensive, right? Everywhere you look, especially those legitimate stores that sells Motivite, you know, it's not, it's not cheap. Okay. So yeah, I gave it to her and 
at after that we got in an argument which is weird and uh, for some reason yeah we never talk after that i tried you know explaining my side because i i tried to set some boundaries with her but then <laughs> she never replied back she doesn't want to talk to me anymore and i said it's okay you know I, i'm you know things happen you know <laughs> shit happens <laughs> there you go anyway so that's the whole story you know it's a stone of transformation really and um the next thing i wanted to share about the mode of light experience um and this was just recent first um i was trying to meditate um with this um reiki thing okay i'm not into reiki it's the first time that you know i've heard about it um i've heard about it before but i'm not really serious about it but yeah i tried this reiki meditation and i tried to hold the motorbike in my hand for some reason i said you know i i just got that pull to do that and you know what happened without i i know it's like i slip into another world in less than 10 minutes i guess or 15 minutes because i suddenly couldn't remember anything at all like i couldn't remember anything um when i did the meditation actually i could feel like there's a water sprinkling on my face and i was so scared like what the hell is this you know like why is it that i feel like somebody's sprinkling water in my face and i wanted to open my eyes but somebody like told me like don't just just relax do not just you know feel it okay and i was so scared like oh my god what is this experience and and so i continued i didn't open my eyes um uh, i just you know continued with the meditation and and then suddenly i couldn't remember anything and then it's like i've fallen asleep and i found myself talking you know like i was talking with the motorbike in my hand and i couldn't remember what i said i even felt like i was talking a different language which is really freaking weird I know I wasn't talking my native language it wasn't even English or Tagalog I was like what what did I say there I couldn't remember a thing and so I got so I jumped up to, I jumped from my bed because I was so shocked that I immediately took my motorbike and just put it in you know in the purse that I wear it you know i keep it where i actually treasure it so yeah because i was so shocked and so surprised so yeah that's one of them and then uh, the following day because that you know got me really interested the following day was unplanned though i didn't know probably because i was it was you know the purse is near me or what um i was already sleeping and i had a dream about some golden reindeers and i was like oh god this this like because it's christmas christmas season and i didn't saw i i, I mean i i didn't see rather what am i talking about i didn't see santa claus but <laughs> i could see some reindeers on the sleigh and uh, funny is it's on space you know it's not in the sky it's on space it's like out of the planet earth so i was there and i was watching those beautiful reindeers on the sleigh and i remember seeing the letters there's like you know a mark on the sleigh like it's funny because at that time when i was seeing the 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 name of the sleigh like there's a mark like a like the it's like a transportation like like for instance um um <laughs> like JR lines in Japan, right? Like JR lines. You, you there's actually a name there. And what I saw are if I am not mistaken, I saw the letters A D E and A. Adea? I'm not sure, but uh, as far as I can remember that's it. But I was so astonished and so like amazed by the beauty of the reindeers and the sleigh and it's like it's really shining and so golden and so beautiful and so i woke up only to find out that the motorbike is beside it's on the floor beside where I'm, um beside my bed okay it was like oh my god was that the motorbike <laughs> so there you go that's my experience basically i'm not going to you know make this pretty much long because it's already 24 minutes of me talking but hopefully you pick up something from it and and, ba and basically I just wanted to share my own experience of motorbike which is really really amazing and definitely a powerful stone 
um, a powerful transformation stone. So again, um, uh, thank you for listening to this audio recording. Uh, definitely, I'm going to upload some other experiences. I bought some new crystals. I also bought a new stone. Um, would, would you know? Would really want to share that as well with you. The experiences I've got um, by working with it, or just by holding it, or just by having it with me. Okay. Anyway, that's it. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.